Yes, and also now we have this big winter storm system that is plowing across much of the eastern half of the U.S. So if you are traveling this morning, check in with your airlines because there will likely be widespread delays or even cancellations. So you'll see why in just a moment. Right now, though, for us, we're waking up to some clouds as we look from our CBS4 camera in Doral. We do have reports of some dense fog well inland, so around Miccosukee and out towards the western interior sections. If you're headed in that direction, uh, be safe if you're going to be driving in that way and we're seeing those showers just moved in around Lighthouse Point, Deerfield Beach, heavy rain around Miami Beach and everything is lifting northward. So Surfside get ready for another round of showers and Brickle Key also getting so Key Biscayne just had some downpours as well as across the upper keys around Key Largo, Isla Mirada and even Long Key right now dealing with some heavy rain. Breeze right now out of the southeast 7 8 miles per hour and temperatures mild with a low to mid 70s and sharp contrast. We're seeing single digits and teens across much of the central U.S. And then we have the 50s and the 60s on the eastern side of this front. This is going to continue to slide to the east as Arctic air that's currently over much of the midsection of the country. And then you can see how that cold air is leading to the wintry precipitation behind the front. We're talking dangerous freezing rain possible as well as plenty of snow ahead of it. It is a wet, messy Friday, as you can see, stretching from the panhandle all the way up the Atlantic seaboard to the northeast New England areas. For us, that front is going to sweep through late tonight into tomorrow. However, ahead of it, we'll remain unsettled with plenty of moisture leading to those showers as we head into the 8 a.m. hour, even around 11 a.m. noontime, seeing some more rain in the forecast as the future tracker is showing us in the afternoon. There could even be a few strong storms developing, and here comes that frontal boundary and that line of showers around 11 p.m. before we clear things out, dry things out, and cool things down. So tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to the low 60s. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds, highs in the low to mid 70s, comfortable, and then a colder start Sunday as high pressure continues to build in and winter sunshine in place. It'll be beautiful. Martin Luther King Jr. Day also a chilly start and then a cool during the afternoon before another cold front arrives next Wednesday to reinforce that cool air already in place. Today our final warm, humid, breezy day with those scattered showers and a few storms possible. Highs in the low 80s. Moderate risk of rip currents at the beach, so be careful if you're headed to the coast. Small craft caution for boaters as well. And tonight we'll see the chance for showers before we cool things down with the low 60s. Highs in the low 70s tomorrow, 50s and 40s possible Sunday and Monday morning. Highs in the upper 60s, winter sunshine for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, 70s Tuesday, and then we'll cool back down to the upper 60s by Wednesday.